Hello everyone and welcome back down to the plot. It's a Saturday afternoon and I'm on weekend off so I thought I'd come down and enjoy some of the lovely sunshine down at the plot. Um, I've even got my wife down here at the moment sieving some soil into my carrot bed ready to get some carrots sown out very shortly as well. So let's have a look at what's changed since last time we were here. So just looking from our first plot, plot 89, it's a little bit more under control um, there is some grass and things growing in some of the beds which will be dug over at some point soon uh, to make way for new plants. I did get some sweet corn out but it's looking a little bit worse for wear. Hopefully it will pick up a little bit. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Broad beans are coming along really really well. So as you can probably see we've got lots of pods forming on these. Some of them are almost ready to pick and that's across all of the plants. Part of my plan for today is to get this cleared. I've made a slight start on here and inside the halo in the middle, I'm gonna put a courgette plant, um, one that I've been growing at home already. <coughs> Cabbages are still looking slightly worse for wear, although you can see we have got some regrowth starting in the middles. The big project I've done recently is made a start in the wildlife area. So it's still very much a beginning at the moment. So I've dug out a pond and clear the area where the uh, greenhouse, poly house used to be. And I've sunk in this pond. This is one I had in the garden. And it's gonna be a wildlife pond, which is why I'm just kind of letting it do its thing. It does look a bit green, a little bit dirty, but it's a wildlife pond, so it will do. And I put a little ramp in there made out of wood, just so that if anything falls in, it can get out again. And I've got a few flowers around. Most of these are ones that I picked up reduced at the garden centre, but should hopefully pick up and do quite well. And this little bug house here, it probably won't stay there. I'll just put it there for now. Um, I picked this up somewhere cheap for about five or six pounds as well. But the plan here as well is to do lots of wildflowers and bulbs around here. A, to look really nice and B, to attract all of the wildlife. Right, so the last five, 10 minutes I've been trying to hand weed this area here, which is where the courgette's gonna go. There are still some weeds. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of all of those by hand that easily. So my plan is I'll get the courgette in, and then what I will do is every time I'm down here is pick a few weeds out. Hopefully that'll weaken them all enough so that we don't have an issue anymore. So here we go, there is that bed after about five, 10 minutes of hand weeding. See, there are still a few bits of weed. Those are quite uh, well dug down weeds. So what I'm gonna do with the ones that are left, every time I'm here, I'm just gonna go pulling them out here and there and hopefully weaken all the plants. But I would rather get this courgette in before it gets far too big and outgrows its pot, which is happening imminently. So this is the courgette in question. This is one of the many courgettes I've had growing in my greenhouse. As you can see, it's gone quite gnarly, but seems to be doing really well and this has been growing in one of those uh, net pots that you use for your pond so it's been getting plenty of air through to the roots and it seems to have worked quite well so what I'm going to do is dig some of the compost out of the halo pop this in and get it dug in and well watered I'm just digging all this soil out. What I'm gonna do is pick any big roots off that I see. Any little ones I may leave in. Um, but I do know that when it comes to competition, what is gonna grow is gonna be that courgette, not the little weeds. Because that courgette, once it's in, should take off in a big way, hopefully. As 
as you can see, it's got a decent root ball on this. Good thing about this hay like this. is that you can water all around them and not have to water the soil directly. Alright, there we go. That is the project in. It's time to get it watered and hopefully get it on its way. And there we go, just gonna fill this hay up around. I'm just going to pop a little bit in there as well. This is the first water. And the water that's in the halo should go down as time goes on. And direct the water around the roots of the project. And I'll probably come back and give that another soak in just as it's its first day in the ground. So the next thing that I'm going to plant is some of my runner beans. You may remember in my tour that I've erected this wigwam. And I had planted out some runner beans several weeks ago. Now we had a sudden frost that was a bit unexpected, followed by lots of hot weather, which kind of frost damaged them and then bathed them. So they all died. But I have got a tray of ones that I grew at home in some root trainers that I'm going to stick out today. And then for the other side later on, I will get some more planted out as well. I also did have another wig ram here that I built myself. But that one got blown down in the storm. So I'm probably gonna replace it with some um, wigwams rather than these kind of A-frame type things. So let's get started. Here is my homegrown beans. I've got a fair few of them. I seem to work out how many I've got and where I'm going to put them into this site. Now this ground I did prepare weeks ago when I put the original beans in and um, that's got kind of rotted waste underneath to keep them nice and fertile as the beans need a lot of their uh, nutrients and things to get growing well. As we open these up, we've got a nice root system. Yeah, we have. As you can see in there, lots of decent roots.
going to unravel all these plants a little bit. And I have learned in previous years, it doesn't really matter where you put them um, in terms of going upwards. They will find their own way and they'll go where they want to. So, let's get these soil back to So that's the beans and the cool jets planted out. And on top of that, we've got some of the reduced plants that I've got around the pond uh, planted out. Already got lots of bees coming towards them, which is quite nice. The next plan is to put loads of bulbs in that wildlife area. Um, we've got some hyacinth bulbs, which we got reduced. And I've got a few other mixed bulbs that I got reduced as well that we're gonna stick in and see how they go. That's our afternoon down the allotment done. We've only been here a couple of hours, but we've got a decent amount done. So my wife has managed to get a good amount of soil sieved. It's gone on top of the homemade compost in the carrot bed. I've got the courgette bed kind of cleared and a courgette into the halo. We've got the plants planted around the pond and we've got plenty of bulbs planted around there as well. And we've also got some of the runner beans in. So I think for two hours, it's been a pretty productive day. So I'm gonna head home. Um, but I should be back tomorrow to get a little bit more done. So thanks for watching. Take care. Happy Lockman Tim.